previously on Baltimore County Favre podcast. Day. Is it Valentine's? Yeah, I did. Valentine. Valentine Day. Valentine's Day. Valentine Day. Day. Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> Slow down. Shit was hitting me fast. Jesus, whoop your ass. Slow down. All right. Valentine's Day. Valentine's. Day. Valentine's. Valentine's. Day. Valentine's. It's, it's, time? it's a possibility. It is yes. an S. Okay. All right. I thought she was saying times. Like no, 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 no. Valentine's Day. I mean, they You literally see... just said time, bro. Valentine's Day. I'm not saying the S. <laughs> They got tried. <laughs> yo, and, on phonics. Hey, yo, fuck you, yo. <laughs> and welcome back to another installment of Baltimore County Forever Podcast. What up, though? This is episode 160. I got the rapper hand and all that. <laughs> hey, yo. Uh, but yeah, this is 168. 167 is out right now, currently only on YouTube. I want to be able to give the YouTube watchers, like I said last time, subscribers, Family, friends, I want y'all to have something of your own. Um, we're starting something new, so I want to be able to put out content more than once a week. Uh, so I'm aiming for two to three times a week uh, with any of us four, um, and possibly uh, Shit V, Lauren, um, just anything, just for the brand, just to keep the brand and just fresh um, in, your, in your mind, in your head, on your eyes, something, whatever, you know. Right there for you. Watch TV. You can watch it on your television. You can watch it on your laptop, your phone. It looks really good on TV, though, so make sure you do that. Um, But <laughs> we have the real Norm here today. <laughs> Norman regularly back. <laughs> Norman about to hold it down. For hey, yo, a real one, bro. A real one, yo. You know what I mean? Shouts, All in the world, you don't <laughs> stop. Shouts mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yo, uh, we got Cousin Al in the motherfucking building. Let's go. What up, though? Hey, remix. Right, <laughs> we got, we got, uh, we got our guy. We got Pod Poppy Huss in the motherfucking building right there. Hello, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up, Huss? What's good, Joe? What's good, man? My bad rolling up on camera. You know? <laughs> yes. mm. Yo, man. All right, so now I want to I wanna know how everybody week is going. I know we got a snowstorm here in Baltimore coming. So, Norm, Norm, <laughs> what's up? With, what's, yeah, we got a snowstorm coming tonight. So when they get this, it's chill. You all laughing. I know, shit. Like, like, we, in, we in horrible weather. You just like, oh, I like Atlanta. Man, because you right. niggas get to take off tomorrow. I'm jealous. Yeah, I for I sure wish. calling out. I wish, nigga. I mean, oh. ain't nobody else going to be at work. I'm being that bitch snow blowing. <laughs> Fucking alone. It's all good though. I'm gonna get unnecessarily high. <laughs> you know what I mean? As you should. You know what I mean? Just make that shit happen. I'm leaving half a day. You out your fucking mind. You think I'm staying at work all day while it's fucking snowing? <laughs> fucking. Yeah, tell me you don't feel comfortable driving. No, exactly. It's not safe conditions. So you know. Yeah. That's not happening. But yeah, man. F- fuck work, bro. <laughs> I need my paycheck, so... Uh, I mean, no, you're right, but I called out today. You know what I mean? Like, my back was hurting crazy. Nigga had me in the mud and all that shit yesterday. It's doing yeah. wild manual labor. You know what I mean? With motherfuckers who love that shit, so... Norm Fernandez over here. Dead, dead ass, bro. Dead ass, bro. Be working like a Mexican, my nigga. You saw my boots? You like, oh, damn, son. Yo, what the fuck was that? Yo, what the it's fuck so was accurate. that? Dead ass, bro. Yo. I'll be, I'll be on a roof. Fucking with the AC units, like, yo, I feel like a Mexican nigga right now. So, and I be getting off work looking at them niggas. They be so enthusiastic about work. It be dark and cold. It's da 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 Like, yo, what's up? Yo, with y'all? come hey, on. Hefe, hefe, I keep, yo. I keep. Oh, no. Yo. Yeah. Nah, yo, look, I love I love Hispanic people. Y'all niggas just work way too hard, bro. We in America. Chill the fuck out. So is it like they work, do they work smart, though? You know the, sure, the common I mean, thing. They clearly efficient, mm-hmm. but... Yeah. It seemed like them niggas don't break. You know how black people break? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Them they niggas don't break. don't break. Like, And they, they be up ass crack. When you leaving for work, they already at work. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, damn, bro. America don't give a fuck about you. But that shit is in their blood. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? They it's work. what they know. And you know what, though? Because I got, I got, you know, my... Uh, Shout out to them. K-Lo-K, my niggas. 
<laughs> I got I got a long guy. His name is Juan, and uh, he come. Yo, that's his name. That's the nigga name. His name <laughs> is Juan. Holy shit. Yo, <laughs> nigga, drop the headphones. <laughs> when, when when he come through with the crew, like if I need some like some some like some heavy shit done, mm-hmm. yo, I, I pay him money, but. If I come through with like a case of Modelo, yeah, you lit, right? Oh yeah, you my good. god, you good, yeah. Yo, I get the extra, beer, I get yeah. the extra services on my yard. And yeah, shit. the Modelos, is the shit, the go to, yo. It, I, bro, look, I'm not I, it's better than Corona. Look, no, I, no, I, I, listen, man, no, Corona, listen, listen. Corona is trash, Cerveza to them. You try, get trash. Try, try. Listen, bro, I met my um my oh. daughter, homegirl, King Sierra, like Perfect two years somewhere. ago. Fucking um, and her pop, shout to her pops. You know what I mean, um. I don't even drink, son. And he's just banging, just banging off Mad Modelo's. Like, top is already cracked. I ain't got to turn nothing. It's Mad Modelo's. And I'm like, yo, I've never drank those before. You know what I'm saying? But I'm realizing that's what, you know what I mean, the Mexican dudes yes, fuck with. they drink. Because I asked him, he's like, what you want? I mean, he asked me, what you want, Heineken or Modelo? I'm like, I don't know. You tell me. I was like, Heineken? Oh, no. He threw the Modelo at me and showed <laughs> fucking enough. You can't give him a six-pack. I come through with the case. Son, what? They be like. Real life. They, Man, yeah, for okay. real. Yeah, yo, y'all niggas work ethic different, man. Oh, that bitch with no jackets on Wait, and a cold. Wait, instead of money though, huh? With money or instead of money? Oh no, no, I pay, I pay him money, but then like, like <laughs> paying like niggas I, in beer. I know, right? You, <laughs> yeah. you, you, uh, you listen, only bro. do that to nah, niggas. Nah, yo, I, I've heard white niggas say that before. No, I mean, pay me in beer? Pay no, nah, pay the, the the Mexican niggas in beer. Oh no! Nah. Oh well, you know that's. Yeah, yeah, I come to the job site and yeah, I got a case of beer and they get to work. You know what I mean? Like, nah, nah, nah. I get the I get the extra. You know what I'm saying? I be like, nah, oh, indeed, yo, nah, yo, hold yo, that yo, down. Do that should be you too. That's real. They be like, yo, I got you. C C C. That's real. <laughs> hold that. <laughs> The views of of this podcast <laughs> are individual <laughs> views. <laughs> this this does not. Hey, bro, I want to have longevity. Uh, we might we might need these. I didn't say no, it ain't nothing. <laughs> I love Hispanic niggas. <laughs> yeah. yo. Shout just, out to y'all. But just in case, look at me. I'm just saying <laughs> <my> personal experience. <laughs> yes, man. personal, That's personal. All. That's all. I'm just it's saying. Okay, okay. You want you want your lawn? You want your roof done? You want your deck built, bro? The, everything in my backyard. They they hooked it up. And you niggas still ain't they, explaining to me what the fuck Halo K mean yet. I think that's I Dominican. heard Nas say that. that a that's a Dominican of, yeah, thing. A lot of kids, okay, I heard Nas say it fucking David say it all the time. You know what I mean? I, I hear Meryl say it all the time. Yeah. The team will probably know. I Googled it. Fluent. I don't know, yo. Put me on. I was in the store in Harlem. That shit was banging in the store. Just bop, 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 bop. Okay, but 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 nigga, I got a video. That's exactly what it sound like. No racist shit. Exactly hey, yeah, we, black like. people can't be racist. That's a fact. <laughs> te- technically, yeah. Per definition, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try though. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo, no. What, what, what's going on? What happened last week? How did we end up with Norm and Betha? Oh man, motherfucker, work whooped your ass, huh? Yo, <laughs> all right. Look, same thing almost happened today. So my back is hurting. Like I said, I was busting my ass at work. I'm laying on a heating pad. I got the phone right next to me. I'm like, nah, I'm not falling asleep this time. You know what I mean? So, bro, hit me. I'm on the way. I still respond five minutes late. Like, all right, bet. You know what I'm saying? But last week, I think because it was snowing. You know what I mean? It was snowing that day. I got off. um, Got off, took a shower, sitting down. You know what I mean? I might have smoked. And I'm just, once I'm in bed for too long, bro, my body is like, nah, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And, uh. Bro, hit me. I think I woke up. It be so, I be feeling so bad. It be like 12.30, I wake up. I don't even respond. I be like, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know I, mean? like, I look yeah. at the time like, shit. Like, it feel like I did a no call, no show. You know <laughs> that shit be crazy. That's a point. That's <laughs> two points, nigga. <laughs> That's two points. <laughs> hey, that's two points. <laughs> Yo. That shit be crazy. Um, Yeah, man, I'm washed. Yeah. Uh, Liam, how was your week? How's your Good. week been going? It was good, man. You know, uh, did did some things, did some you know some Aline type things. Um, <laughs> Laptop Chronicles is available on all podcast streaming platforms and go. I just leave that at that. You know. <laughs> See you this week. <laughs> and uh, it's been good so far, man. Can't complain. You know. Huss, what's up? How was your uh, How's your week going, man? It's going good, man. No complaints. 
Um, I hope my boss don't hear this, but I've been leaving work early. Yo, yeah, yeah. been the best week of the year. So, <laughs> what was that? Ah, <laughs> uh, she laughed like my mom. Yeah, yo, because she in there watching her ratchet TV. Of and course. Shit. See the thing, uh, the thing about Lauren when she watched TV. A lot of the time she'll make certain noises. It's like alarming. Right. So like it pissed me off. Like she was like, <gasps> and I'd be like, yo, what the fuck? She'd be like, yo, you just too hostile. I'm like, I grew up in Baltimore, bro. Uh, county okay. or not, nigga. No, I, no I'm on my moves. P's and Q's. Yo, fuck all that. Listen, I, I, look, <laughs> women from out of town, we talk pretty direct here. You get what I'm saying? It's nothing personal towards you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But if you've been in like Detroit or like Camden, New Jersey or some shit, mm. or like St. Louis, you know what I mean? Or here, you might understand a sense of urgency. So niggas mm. is like, yo, like you can't be fucking making noises like that because yeah, it's, it's throwing me. Like when niggas run, we run Facts. and then ask questions. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why are we running? Exactly. Ask that afterwards. <laughs> so look, ladies, don't take anything personal. Niggas ain't from fucking where you can just. Keep your doors unlocked. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? That's all I wanted to say. Quick PSA. Uh, real quick, um, Huss, I found out that Burger King has oxtails. How you feeling about that? What? <laughs> wait, what? Wait, what? what? Yeah, wild segue, huh? Yeah. Whoa. Burger oh, King has oxtails. Stop playing with me, man. <laughs> Kato K means I what's up? To, I swear to God, I'm going to go to... Bet. Yo, stop playing yeah, with me, uh, bro. Bro, Why would they ever... Burger bro. King oxtails? My... First off... And if I see somebody that eat that... I'm smacking oh, niggas, shit out niggas of gonna be eating oh it, bro. God. Niggas gonna be Look. eating the motherfuckers ate that uh, Impossible Burger shit. You know what I mean? Guilty this shit is what? See, I tried it. I want to see what it. The yeah, see what it tastes like. Shit. And it it motherfuckers said up. it was gross. See, it fucked exactly. up because they don't. Niggas, niggas better not try to fucking oxtail from for Burger King. King? Yeah. It's no <laughs> Jamaicans working at Burger King, <laughs> bro. This shit is called Burger King. Where you cook, where you preparing oxtails at Burger King? Yeah. What you pulling them bitches nah, out of bag? Nah, real shit, real yeah. shit. Where's the oxtail being prepared? Uh, that's, <laughs> know what I mean? Mm, no, uh, no. That's no. that's not a good idea. Niggas give you oxtails in two minutes and shit. That's, no, no. You I need get, at you least you getting the oxtail and salmonella. Exactly. <laughs> nah, you got. I need at least fucking thirteen minutes. Like you got to wait outside. Nah. You want I'll be back rest. in six hours. No, I mean right, right. That ass. Nah, if I go right, somewhere, hey, I'll be back at my lunch break. I ordered it this morning. Mm-hmm. I'm here to pick up my oxtail. Mm-hmm. No, that that's go. the only way I'm gonna eat it. That's a fact, though. Mm-hmm. The fuck? I seen wow. it. I seen it on so, Twitter. <laughs> it was. I, I don't. I don't know if it's real, but <laughs> everybody talked about yeah. it. I seen a tweet from this guy, and it goes oxtails at Burger King. I'm trying tomorrow. Some shit like that. <laughs> Yo. I immediately thought this was got. This got to be in the states. I look on his I page. I was right. Chicago to be exact. Uh, <laughs> yeah. See, it might does. be. It <laughs> might. It might be some some just state specific shit like that. Yeah. Look. You know look. It says. Wait. Wait. The nigga said Burger King got oxtails. Eyes, eyes, eyes. I'm trying it tomorrow. Update. Do not buy oxtails for Burger King. I'm there throwing up blood. See? <laughs> there you go. For the people that think I'm trolling dead ass, my stomach going crazy right now. Never eat oxtails from Burger King ever again. <laughs> shit is called Burger hey, King. Yo. As, the, as the saying goes, life comes at you fast. That's yeah. a fact. Hey, Yo, ten, 10 piece oxtail for 450. Hey, Who's saying yo. no to that? <laughs> You got oxtails for ten dollars? No, 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 no. Ten piece for four fifty. It don't matter, yo. Wow. Listen, if you get oxtails for under twenty dollars, don't eat that shit. They got them shits out the trash. And then, and then, they don't come with the sucking of the teeth or none of that. When is niggas counting pieces of oxtail? You don't never (laughs) get no ten piece. You just get oxtails. You know what I mean? Mm. You get a small little. You might get two. You might get seven. Exactly. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> shit. Real shit. They, they might just throw mad gravy on you. <laughs> Two pieces of oxtail. I mean, that was so in front of the rice. toilet. Listen. Yo. Like, what? Where are they getting get these oxtails? Yo. Where are they getting oh the oxtail Lord. that they can sell it for that price? Right. Right. Nah, that's that nigga. Nah, that nigga I don't trust cry. it. Like, something, ain't, something ain't right. <laughs> Niggas get oxtails every day, B. Yo. No, they don't. <laughs> they can't afford it. Shit. I don't know. 
Oh my god, bro! Uh, <laughs> I would not be surprised. I up, yo. Them niggas did have macaroni, so they did. Uh, it was like macaroni, like French fries or some shit. They had like Cheeto fries. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I remember that. It's probably a disaster. That's some Burger King shit, but oxtails? yeah, that's Burger King shit. No, mm. but not oxtails. What's I'm next? Collard more. greens? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm glad. Yes, we're in a lab right now. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Let me get a. Big Mac and collard greens. What? <laughs> right. Oh, you put collard man. greens on my Big Mac. It's <laughs> terrible. Man. I do that. I definitely do some nigga shit like shit, that. Shit, All right, so let's. um, let's start with uh, Judas and the Messiah. Have has everyone seen that? Uh, Huss, have you seen that? I ain't gonna lie. I started watching it because I didn't go to the movies to watch it. I fell asleep. I got too high. But it was it was good from what I saw. Wait, wait, wait! Y'all movie theaters are open out there? Mm-hmm. Uh, the oh, fucking yeah. South is crazy. Yeah. What the I fuck is wrong with y'all? Not to be funny, but I don't think anything ever closed. I don't. Yeah, no, you know you're right, nigga. I was in Florida last May, nigga. I was in Target, no mask, everybody, niggas out that bitch. I'm like, yo, what's yeah, up with y'all down here? If I'm not mistaken, I, I feel like it would close for like a couple of days or maybe a sure week enough. or two, but sure, sure open. South is crazy, bro. Like open like normal. Yes. Nigga, I went out to eat. Yeah, not the the movie theater by my crib, it's like a, it got a reclining couch, so it's like Wow. Why do y'all niggas even do this to me? Yeah. Mm. Setting you up for failure, yeah. Yeah, I feel I fell asleep. How did you feel about it, Aline? I love that movie. Um it made me sad because, you know, when you when you learn the story of uh Fred Hampton and 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 you know that he was murdered at 21 years old. 21, bro. You know, but then if you've listened to him speak, like, for him to be 21, he was wise way beyond his years. You know what I'm saying? And um, his impact was was so, like, it's so heavy. But um, I, I teared up at the end of that movie. You know, when uh, after his, when when they showed the him speaking for the final part, um, yeah, I teared up for real. But I I, I love uh Daniel Daniel Kulea, Lakeith Stanfield, yo, that dude can act, man. That if that movie that hate movie, that nigga now. <laughs> nah, you he he was the perfect actor because like um he played the part, he looked like the guy. He did. You know what he I'm did. saying? And um he's just a hell of an actor. And uh man, they brought they brought that movie to life, you know what I'm saying? Um it probably won't win any awards, but fuck the awards. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it was it was fucking great. I love it. And the soundtrack is. I'm sure it'll win awards though. Everybody been there's nothing but good reviews about it. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, yeah, it's one of those movies where it's like you you want to say it's a it's a perfect movie. Like there were no bad moments, but then like what the movie is about, you're like all right, it's you know what I'm saying it's it's sad, but it's a great. Great, excellent, dynamic fucking movie. Can I give my take on it? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Norm. yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Norm. I feel like I agree with you, Lame. It was um it was a great movie. It's a great film. Um everybody did a great job acting wise, but uh I feel like it was one of them shits that like it made me proud to be black, you know what I mean? Like I sure. watch that shit I'm like, Yeah, yo, we gotta get back to this and then it fucks you up. Like you said, it makes you sad once you Understand everything that was going on, COINTEL Pro and everything, and how they, you know what I mean, just infiltrated us and, and fucked us up, just set us back so much. And it's like, damn, bro. And that's why it pisses me off, I think, on a personal level, because like, Keith did such a great job, because it made me hate this nigga. Like, yo, Facts. I want to body your bitch ass. You know what I mean? He killed that. And um, seeing that, uh, the actual guy in the documentary after the movie, and like me on some personal shit. I was like, yeah, I see why you killed yourself, nigga. I wouldn't be able to live with myself, nigga. Yeah, right, you know what right, I mean? Right. I didn't feel, I didn't feel, I didn't feel nothing. You know what I mean? I didn't feel nothing. You bro. know, the one thing that that pissed me off is like reading about his life and 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 hearing what he said directly. Mm -hmm. He was like, um, "Yeah, you know, I was, I was still in the struggle. People can judge me right, or whatever." Like, right. nigga, you was, you was. Yo, he said a, that. You that was snitch. Right. Now that's the definition of a snitch. Absolutely. Yeah. That's yeah. a snitch. Yeah, that shit. He said that shit. So like, yo, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, fuck that guy, man. Yeah, yeah I remember um, me and Lauren. We watched it on Valentine's Day. Valentine 
Day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm about to fuck it up again. <laughs> Valentine's Day. <laughs> I said the end this time. Y'all see me this Hello. time. All right, because I was butchering that shit last episode. <laughs> Only available on YouTube. Um, but yeah, uh, we started to watch it. The last we got to the last 25 minutes and fell asleep. Watched the last 25 minutes. Um, the next day, and the last 25 minutes is the best part of the movie. Yeah. Um, the last 25 minutes of like you know. Them actually putting it into play of him uh, setting them up. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With a um, little real. Uh, yeah, man, that part was good. Yeah. Right. So, um, when we watching it, I okay. Transparent moment. I knew that he was killed. I knew he was killed in his sleep. I didn't know anything about an informant, a snitch, or whatever. Um, I didn't know the guy's background. I didn't know any of that. I just knew that he was killed in his sleep. And just to see how they went, they shot him. They they, they shot everybody up in the house. Right, right. Shot everybody up in the house. Uh, they told him to come out. He's like, I can't. I've been shot. Well, come out or you, you'll be shot some more. Right. Um, how they put the gun to her belly, his his wife's <laughs> belly. Right. Um, how when they took her outside of the room and they realized that he was still kind of breathing. And it was like, oh, you can, um, he looks like he's going to make it. Right. And then shot him some more. He's good and dead now. Now, so right. that accompanied with the fact that I didn't know he had a son. I didn't know. I didn't know that. Um, I didn't know they were alive. I didn't know any of yeah, that. Yeah. Um, but the worst part outside of him being murdered was the part reading after the real guy spoke. at They aired where he spoke at. Um, it was like a a show. Or I think it aired on ABC or something like that. It was Eyes on the Prize. Uh, Eyes on the Prize. It aired on Martin Luther King Day. Yep. 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 And that same night, he committed suicide. So, like me looking at it, I was just like, and it, I mean, it might sound fucked up to people, but in the same breath, it's like, bro, you, you did all of this for what? You were a whole coon, bro. Like this, really, You're like like Aleem said, this is really the definition of a snitch. A Instead of taking your charge. You put right. somebody else in danger. And not For even what? not even just somebody else. You fucked up the whole culture or the whole yeah. race. Like, I'm not saying it was clearly the CIA and FBI was they, you heard this shit. They say, yo, the Black Panther group, these niggas is the largest terrorist group in America. Like you seen they were scared. It's till this day, I'm sure they still saying the same shit about us. But yeah, 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 <clears> yeah, sure. what I'm saying is you you play such a big part in removing a, a an instrumental factor. In our progression, and it's like even the brother that you know, what I mean, did the shit uh, back in the day with Huey and all that in the hood and all. You just think about dudes like that that the police, you know, what I mean, put money in their pockets or whatever, gave them opportunity to. It's like yo, you thinking on such a small scale, and it's like you don't understand how much damage you actually cause. You get what I'm saying? Like, yo, you niggas is, is pussy. If I could fuck you up today, I would. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Like, yo, this shit is bad, son. Side note, I, I don't think a lot of people know this, but um, Huey P. Newton, mm -hmm. he's act, he's actually Dr. Huey P. Newton. Indeed. Mm, he indeed. had a PhD in social science. Yeah. So, like, his approach to community involvement wasn't just some random... You know, me me and Bobby Seal. Right. You know what I'm saying? We we gonna get together and just carry guns. No, he knew what he was doing. He right. knew the application of the law. Indeed. So he yeah. he does and and I think in a in a round roundabout way, that's kind of, you know, mainstream society's way of uh like discrediting his his intellect. Absolutely. Don't call him Doctor Huey P. Mm. Oh, it's just Huey P. Right. No, right. He was he was no, he was a legit PhD. You ever hear that brother speak, yo? It's like shit. Yeah. Like the the image, everybody has that one image in their mind, uh, him in that chair with the spear and shit. And it's like, yo, brother was a revolutionary, he was a gangster, whatever, whatever. But then you hear this brother speak, it's like, damn, you really knew it. You get know what I'm saying? And that's why he could move the way he was moving. You right. get know what I'm saying? He knew his shit. And the police were so afraid. And, and and the thing about the state of California, man, is and this is why I say, you know, like in the words of Killer Mike, I'm glad Reagan's dead. Um, Ronald Reagan was a fucking actor, like stop electing actors to be fucking government officials. Right. But he was the governor of California. Mm -hmm. 
So, you know, you had these people talking about these whole Second Amendment rights. Oh, you want to carry guns? Like, first of all, fuck you if you think you need an AR-15 to go to Chipotle. Um, but it was like, you know, they had the, you know, Second Amendment laws, which the the Panthers knew. So when they showed up at the California State Building, you know, exercising their, their constitutional right to bear arms, Ronald Reagan and them, they enacted laws against that to immediately. To combat that, right. Immediately. Like, oh, no, you know, and, and uh, shout out to um, Robert F. Williams, you know, in his book, Negroes with Guns. Mm. That's, that's you know, where it started. But, you know, Ronald Reagan, was it was, I think it was called the Hawes Act of uh, 1967. Um, you know, it, the, the scariest thing for, matter of fact, we was talking about Nat Turner at uh, work mm. today. He was talking about how, because dude, dude was talking about, um, uh, the birth of a nation with uh, Nate Parker, mm-hmm. which a lot of people don't don't like that movie because it's Nate Parker. But we was talking about how you know how they killed Nat Turner right. and they boiled his right. body, skinned him, and all that. And shit. all that. Yeah. I and, read uh, on that. That's that shit is crazy. Fucking, called it fucking, Nat, called it Nat Juice. Uh, Nat 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 Elixir. Mm. And uh, you know they that that's the scariest thing to them is a, a united front. Yep. You know, yep. 20, 2021 this year is the hundredth year anniversary of the the destroying of Black Wall Street. Mm. Um, which I mean, we I'm sure we're gonna get to that point, but yeah, that's the scariest thing to them is yeah. is a united front of not just Black Americans, but, right. but Black people, Black people, right, right, you know, in in right. Mexico and Haiti, right, and and Guyana, and, right. You know, that's that's scary to them. Man, come on, bro. A bunch of United Africans and South South American black folks and American black. Come on, bro. They yeah. they 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 want to nuke us. You know what yo, I'm saying? Yo, so so I was on the airplane the other day, and that's when I watched a movie. Mm-hmm. And I was sitting in between two white ladies. Oh, man. Now, for those of y'all who don't know, I got I got a I got an Africa tattoo. I got red, black, and green on. I got my I got my tribal mask. You know, I got my Wakanda, you know, forever tattoo. And I'm watching this movie. Man, I think I scared the shit out of them white ladies. Of course. <laughs> what? You a big black dude, too? What? I uh. think I scared it because I had a little, you know, short t- short sleeve shirt, man. I think they was like, oh, shit. But this fuck them. It's really black. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right? really this black. Guy is really black. Wow. This black oh movie. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, Fred, that's Fred fucked up that you gotta feel like yeah, that, bro. Sure. Man, fuck that's em. fucked up because I said that in uh, an interview I had with my homegirl. Um, it seemed like we the only race that gotta turn our blackness down. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like when we come around mm-hmm. other people, we gotta make them comfortable. Oh, let me be less black to, to accommodate mm-hmm. you. Why do I have to do that? Like right. fuck that. Like I gotta speak the way you speak. You know what I mean? Because nah, where I grew up, niggas was talking like this. You know what I'm saying? Where I went to school, motherfuckers was sagging their pants and wearing Jordans. You know what I'm saying? And granted, I know it's a time and place for everything. Right. But if I'm comfortable somewhere, if we at the mall, my nigga, I'm not about to fuck. Hey, Susan, suck my dick. Like, nah. Cause <laughs> From I'm the in back. You fu- know what I mean? <laughs> nah, because I'm in a fucking, I'm in Macy's. <laughs> nah, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. Uh, switching gears real quick. Um... Biggie has a new doc Word. documentary coming um, on Netflix called "I Got a Story to Tell." Um, it's described as an origin story, um, a reflection of his life and career. Hugely influenced, influential uh, artist. Um, Puffy's in it. Uh, Puffy, Faith, Lil C's of Junior Mafia, and others is executive produced by um, his mom, Valletta Wallace, and Diddy. Um. The director of this actually he dropped a eight minute short film based on a song to celebrate Biggie's forty fourth birthday. Um, that came out a couple years ago. But um, how you feeling about Biggie's legacy and how they're taking care of it? Uh, how many years that was he passed in ninety seven? Ninety seven. So that's what. Ooh, like twenty like twenty four. Going 24, on twenty four years, 24. and he died at twenty four, right? Yeah. Crazy. Yo, yo, that's another yo, thing. I bro. was thinking about this shit today, man. Like, like, first, like, first of all, when it comes to hip hop culture and rap music, number one, ours is the only culture that celebrates death in music. Because, because mm. all, all we talk about is is shooting niggas, mm-hmm. and then 
you know, when you think about Tupac and Big, like they died at 24, 25. Yeah, yeah. I'm 41. Yeah. Right. Like to mm. me, twenty five was so long ago. Right. Like I don't, right. I don't remember what the fuck I was doing at twenty five. Right. But to know that that these dudes died, they were murdered at twenty five, along with thousands of others, you know, millions of brothers and sisters, who've been killed, you know, b- before the age of thirty. Right. Right. Like, that shit is is crazy when you think about it. Yeah. Because yeah. I was sixteen, seventeen when they got killed, and they seemed so much older. Right. But now me looking back, looking back I'm yeah. like, yo, that shit's crazy. Like they, they, their lives were cut so short. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's crazy, man. Biggie it's only crazy. dropped one album. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's crazy when you think about it. But yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I like it. You know what I'm saying? Because his mom, his, his mom, and I think his mom and Faith, even though like Diddy has has been known to do some fuckery. Mm-hmm. I think he know he would get his ass torched yeah. if he if he came crooked, you know, talking yeah, about talking yeah. about big. Yeah, so shout out you know. to his son too. What? Um, uh, uh, big son. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. think big. I think CJ? is um, yeah. CJ, he has like um, I follow him. He does like a lot of um juicing, and he incorporates music while he's juicing. Um, I think uh, the Think Big brand has something to do with uh legalizing marijuana. Um. <clears throat> But yeah, shout out to him. Um, his daughter do something too. Yeah, like, I think his daughter uh, has a boutique. She's a fashion right? designer. Yeah, she has a boutique. Is yeah. it in Atlanta or is it in New York? I think it's in New York. I don't okay. know. I think it's in New York too. I think I it's in Brooklyn. Mm, yeah. Um. So speaking of Brooklyn, shout out to Hove being um first time uh on the nominees for the hit uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Um. Pretty dope. I haven't kept up with the voting. Um. Last time I checked, he was kind of like. Third to last in the voting, but it's like we don't really give a fuck about it. It's cool, but right. I mean it is what it is, bro. We need our own, um, specifically designed for hip hop and black artistry. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, <sighs> we here, yeah, we here. Let's let's talk about me. Let's talk about me. Um, you know what? Let's wait on Meek. Let's we're gonna close with Meek. All right, uh, Nas. Let's let's go to Nas. Um, speaking of uh, uh, a legend, legend artist, legendary artist, Nas put up his twenty five albums of all time. Uh, so we're gonna go through them. Um, we're gonna see what y'all think of Nas list. Um. Okay. Uh, what did he do this with? Um, I can't remember the list. It's it's First, through hip hop freaks. Some of them, but um, it it, it oh, it's, it's sounds like a oh. nice list. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. She tripping. Um. <laughs> uh. Let's see. Miles Davis, kind of blue. John Coltrane, a love supreme. Bob James, one. Stevie Wonder's songs in the key of life. Marvin Gaye, Hear My Dear. Oh, I'm, I'm, I was just going through to see how how hip hop it get. Uh, where I was at, uh, Michael Jackson, Thriller, Run DMC, King of Rock, Anita Baker, Rapture, Boogie Down Production, Criminal Minded, Eric B and Rakim, Paid in Full, MC Sharon, Down by Law, Big Daddy Kane, Long Live the Kane. Um, I seen a picture of him in. Eminem in the studio together. I don't know if that will come with music or not. Um, <laughs> I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> Somebody uh, treach in Eminem. Yeah, that's I don't. A, yeah, that's that's. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna take a break. I want to talk about that real quick. All right. Uh, cool. I don't understand. I get it, but and I both of y'all could probably answer this, but Aleem, you might be able to answer it a little bit more. Was treach like that? Of really. A, of a yeah yes okay all yeah. right yes I'm just I'm it's curious because it was I'm, like that yeah he especially on like poverty's that. paradise what okay yeah, he yeah, went Trudge in was a fucking problem bro yeah. lyrically he he was yeah Trudge, okay Trudge, they so, did tell you Trudge like back then Trudge was one of them ones you know what okay I mean? anybody that's like in the know yeah Trudge was like that yeah okay um so in 2021 is it too late for him to have a solo album way too late yeah let it go bro no. Trench. I wasn't yeah, expecting a family to feed. Okay, mm. but he can go drive Uber. 
But why? <laughs> but why? So you would want a Tretch album? I, I, didn't, I didn't listen to him back then. I, I went and listened to him now, but I'm sure it's people that want to hear new music from that nigga. If he still got followers and he still get likes. That's a good point. They want to hear new music from him. Okay, but this is like... But this is the Lil same C still put out music. But this is like when we was talking about um, Lloyd Banks. And somebody was like, Banks put out an album. He was like, nobody wants to hear Banks' album. Mm. And, and then we was talking about how if you're if you're a fan of an artist, you're a fan, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I grew up lis- listening to Tretch. Mm-hmm. So, right. you know, yeah, I would be a, you know, I, I remember when they came out, when they first came out, I used to have the CD singles, all that shit. Right. I, I, don't, I don't necessarily think that um, there's enough... Uh, of a following to justify him making the album. You would listen he, to it? At I, least listen to it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to give it a fair listen. But that's, that's, that's good enough. That's okay. That's uh, one out of how many thousands or hundred you need for that stream? That works. <laughs> true, true. I give him a couple. Yeah. That's yeah, what I'm saying. That's good wanted- enough. Fuck that. If you could get a quick 50 or a hundred thousand dollars real quick, why not? True. He um wants it to be fully produced by uh Eminem. He said that is the only way that he would and um put out a solo Why? record. I wouldn't listen to that trash. I would not way. listen to that. I would never mind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I guess I held that off for a reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fully produced by Eminem. Like, Does know. Eminem have like an air that I don't know about? Hey, hey, I mean, hey, listen, a- don't I'm not going all right. <laughs> he don't the 50 cent credit that he get anybody that signed 50 cent would have got that because 50 right. was 50 was 50 right. before Eminem right right it, did, did Dr. Dre and Eminem help him yeah but anybody that he'd have went to which would have helped him or would have been crazy for him facts um so let's finish this list Hush did you get what I sent you on the list uh, I just sent it to you um, so where do we stop at? Uh, MC, oh, Big Daddy Kane. Slick Rick, the great adventures of Slick Rick. Public enemy, it takes a nation of millions to hold us back. Uh, Cool G rapping DJ Polo. Uh, little, uh, tidbit. Uh, DJ Polo is actually my uncle. He's my mom's youngest brother. Um, really? Yeah. Um, Wanted, Dead or Alive. I remember listening to that as a kid, and that is a wow. i never forget, me and my brother was playing... Uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 And listening to that shit And we was just like What the fuck Are we listening to bro Like This shit is fucking insane These niggas is nasty as fuck Um Yeah And I remember when my uncle had The uh <laughs> My uncle had the video With Ron Jeremy It's The song is called Freak of the Week It's on YouTube It's Wild as fuck Uh <laughs> Oh, but uh Let's see Um Main source Breaking Adams um, that's where he debuted, right? Okay, Ice Cube Death Certificate, One uh, of my favorites, uh, Tribe Called Quest, The Low End Theory, Scarface, Mister Scarface is back, NWA Niggas for Life, Doctor Dre the Chronic, Jay Z Reasonable Doubt, Notorious B.I.G. Life After Death, and I, I'm sorry, Outcast Equimini. How do y'all feel about this list? I love it. It's a Nas ass list. I, I'm not surprised. I literally was going to say that. That is an. F- <laughs> That's exactly what I would expect Nas to say. Absolutely. Every single one of these Every things. Every single one. <laughs> Nas list. Do you find it strange that he didn't list Illmatic? No, I don't know. I don't know. Nas don't. Nas is such, uh, I guess, to me, uh, a music lover. Like, he. And just, I guess, seeming. I guess. Outside of himself musically, you know what I'm saying? I don't even think Illmatic probably crosses his mind. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, he, I feel like he's tired of it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, it's, he's talked about it, you know what I mean? Performed it, whatever, whatever. So, thinking about his favorite albums, that shit probably didn't cross his mind at all. You know what I mean? And then, like you said, like that was just 25 albums, period. Maybe mm-hmm. if it would have just been hip-hop albums, then maybe. You know what I'm it saying? It was his... Um his favorite albums of all time, of all time. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. yeah. Nah, yeah he I, might, like you said, he might not even listen to uh, Illmatic, bro. I wouldn't. I ain't gonna hold you. And I, if somebody asked me my twenty five albums, favorite albums of all time, 
none of my albums will cross my mind. Like no, honestly, just mm. I, I love all of my music, but just thinking about music that's super special to me, shit that I loved growing up or whatever. Now I went in right oh yeah, fucking regular show. Do you think anybody would put their album in like something like that? Yeah, I feel, I feel like a lot of niggas. Would. I think Jay Z yeah. would for sure. I don't, yeah. You think Hov would? I yeah. would. I think he would put at wow. least two. Of at least two. Yeah. At yeah. least yeah. two. That's a minimum. I agree. Mm-hmm. He would what? put Reasonable Doubt, and he would definitely put Blueprint. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I got, because okay, but in his list, yes, yeah. Don't you don't got to be humble when that doing? Nigga is hove a braggadocious <laughs> right. rapper. Right. <laughs> we got to We got to think about who we talking about here. Love him to death, but he. It's kind of like knowing your worth in a sense. No, no disrespect to um, Nas at all, but mm-hmm. and and also it's Nas just. Niggas won't let Nas live past Illmatic. Illmatic. They'll right, give right. Hope, they'll let Hove live past right, Reasonable Doubt. Real. But it's like Illmatic was Illmatic. I, it's Hove though. Like I can I can see him doing that. I can see him doing that. I could also see him um putting Kanye in there to some degree. Which 25 which, albums is a lot though. 25 albums is a lot. No, no, it's 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 not. I mean the fact that he went from he went from Miles Davis um, kind of blue, which I think it came out in 1959. Um, so the fact that he went from at least the 1950s up through uh, 2000 and when, when did the Quinn and I come out? Quinn well, no, and no, I came out like 98, 97. 97. 97. So he covered the know, 90s. at least 40 years, 50 years of music and different genres. Um so it's a, that's a lot of music, you know. I mean, he didn't he didn't talk about any rock albums, um, any country albums. This is definitely a nigga's list, you know. Absolutely. Um, but I mean, he 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 covered a lot of music, you know. I I, I think too many times, too much, we uh, we limit our ourselves in our conversation of hip hop, yeah, to yeah. just hip hop. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, Songs in the Key of Life was one of the greatest albums ever. And it, it had a heavy influence on the code. Like, you know, everything in, in influences something. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think, uh, you know, he might have been drawn from, like, personal experience. Like, to me, you, I mean, you know, a Love Supreme is when I die, they're going to play that. Like, I got it. I got it tatted right here. It says a Love Supreme. Like, mm-hmm. you know, that album is everything to me. You know, um. That you know, that's me. So yeah, I I think it's is is great that you know he covered so much. Mm. You know, the needed breakers. Shout out to Detroit three one three all day. Um, yeah, man. Shout out to Nas. Um, yeah. So now we're here. Let's talk about the Meek in um versus six nine. Uh, Hus, let me know if you can hear. Did you hear any of the claps earlier? No. Damn. All right. So this is what we'll do. I'll switch you real quick. Uh, mm. Yeah, so I'll just play the clips. Um, you familiar? Well, you already know what the whack one hundred was, and uh, the whack one hundred, and then the six nine clips. So I'm just gonna play the six nine clips for the uh, you uh, viewers. Um, real quick it is uh, Meek and six nine. Basically, they get into a confrontation outside of a club, and here it is. Because I heard it so many times. <laughs> Why does he have to use the N word so much? Yeah, yo, this, uh... <laughs> damn, damn, yo. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, that nigga said a poo shiesty line. 
to Meek Mill. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm on fire, scary. I want you to the cup. Crazy. Crazy. What the fuck, bro? Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, you know, in most times, we, we kind of clown Meek, but I respect Meek, bro. I respect, at the end of the day, I respect what Meek has, his journey. Um, this particular situation is just bothering me because it's like, bro, you, you're starting, not me, you, the other dude, you're starting shit with niggas and niggas is minding a business. You feel me? Um, uh, speaking of niggas starting shit and minding business, now we have Wack 100 versus Meek Mill. I don't want to hear that. Niggas don't want to go back to jail. Fuck all that. Then keep your motherfucking mouth shut, nigga. Don't address the rat. Don't talk like it's on with the rat. If you're going to pick and choose when it can be on. Oh, all of a sudden, nigga can't handle his bit. Nigga, he, he with his team. You with your team, nigga. Tear it off. It's just that simple. Tear it off. Whatever come with it, come with it. Good, bad, or the ugly. Nigga pulled up, spitting out his mouth, talking greasy. Nigga, that's a disgrace to that city you from, nigga. And it's real niggas out there. And I'm tired of you niggas want to select a politic like all oh, because the po- man, fuck all that, nigga. Hey, if you worried about the police, nigga, stop addressing the nigga. Anything that incites violence, keep your motherfucking mouth shut if you worry about the police, nigga. I ain't worried about them in broad daylight. I ain't worried about them in front of the precinct. Nigga, you come playing with me, nigga. It's gonna get hot real fast. And whatever come with it, come with it. Because that's what it is. Oh, stop rapping that shit you rapping. Tone it down, nigga. Niggas talking all this shit. All this shit, kill, kill, kill. Niggas so on and so But then niggas just, when it's on, nigga, you just gotta fuck me up. Push up on me with your security, nigga, and it's on, nigga. I'm getting off, nigga. You just gonna fuck me up, nigga. And I'm gonna oh get off my ways and one. Your squad, my squad, that man, undercover police, whatever you wanna call him. The minute that man advanced that man, nigga, it didn't matter no more. That other man would have been defending himself. But where your heart at with it, nigga? This shit, like, really starting to irritate me, my nigga. Because you niggas be out here playing with it. If you ain't willing and ready to play ball, nigga, get your punk ass off the court, off the field. Uh, <laughs> Mr. 100, sir? Uh, Mr. I Mr. Mr. One, one first. No, 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 yo, I just, I. Uh, he he I had points. Yeah, like, I agree 100. Nigga wasn't with lying. Him. Yeah, I was about to say the nigga wasn't lying. Like nigga. everything he said, I agree. I've been saying that. Yeah. Yo, listen. And the funny thing is, I don't get why. Listen, academics been wanting a one on one with Meek for about a year and a half, and niggas is ignoring that. Mm-hmm. Why? He's literally been asking him for the one for like a ever since he started talking. Like, Meek, I fight you. Look, I give you the ones. Y'all just can't jump me. Mm-hmm. Why is niggas acting like, Meek? Listen. I don't care how y'all feel about this nigga rapping skills. Him personally, he, he is not who y'all think he is. Yeah, that's a fact. You Straight can see up. that. Nah, you can see that, my nigga. Like... Straight up. It's when Drake was upstairs while him and Nikki was downstairs and he was looking and they seen me. That's when I lost all respect. Not lost all respect, fuck, but lost all respect for that nigga gangster. Straight like that. So he went live. All, look, man. He said he was going to be 6 9 up when he seen him. Academics when they seen him. They only jumped, like he said, I mean, uh, Safari and right. Quentin yeah. Miller. Like, come on, bro. Oh, man. Oh, man. Niggas, niggas try to six, six, listen, nine if 6 9 walked down on any of y'all, y'all probably going to just laugh at this nigga and walk. Why did both of these clowns go live? That's real. That's real. It, it, but this he air- went live, too. Like, he went live, too. Niggas is acting like me getting go live back with this nigga. He's trying to get me locked up. And he's saying clown shit. Both of y'all niggas clowns. What ho said? Wise man told me don't argue with fools. Bro, I'm walking away from this nigga. Yeah, this me as me, I'm even going to spit on this nigga and entertain it back. But I'm not about to. Oh, he's trying to get me locked up. I'm not doing that dumb shit. Why me? If I went live, exactly. If I went live, this this is about to be funny back, my nigga. Yo, like like you said, bro. Uh, um, 
Meek just being from way from, you know what I mean, talking the way he talked, coming up the way he came, came up and all that. Um, Not a smack 6 9 And this is what I'm saying, bro. They said like, it was an accident. You talking all this. Yeah, yo, look, bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, I understand. I understand. You got legal shit going on. So it's like, I bet. But nah, that's over Wack, now. No, nah, see, see? And then Wack is making a good point. It's like, yo, y'all niggas talking all this super rah-rah shit. You know what I mean? Like, that's like that's what it is. So And then you bitching a nigga like 6 9 every chance you get. You know what I'm saying? So if that was a case, my nigga, you should have, hey, yo, chill. Nah, I got this nigga, you know what I mean? And handle yours. You get what I'm saying? You could have. Bu- Ain't nobody getting locked up for no, a one-on-one. Exactly. exactly. You know? That's what I'm saying. You could have, if that was the case, oh, no, this nigga put, like, every time you, you got an a issue, my nigga, it's the same way. And we seen it on camera. You get what I'm saying? With Nicki, man, like you said, it's the same shit. So it's like, bro. Stop talking all that tough gun North Philly shit, and you ain't even lifting a finger, my nigga. Like, shout I, out to Quilly. Yo, I make. I seen sure. that video. That was crazy, my nigga. Shout I out make to Quilly. Sure, that nigga, bro. Said, that nigga said he was like, "You gonna apologize?" He was like, "Only reason I don't, I don't fuck you up is because we in shells. How out of respect for shells, I'm not gonna fuck you up, but." You gonna apologize, nigga? And the nigga said, and I just was telling Lauren this. I was like, I hate when you Philly niggas be saying this. What you trying? What you trying to do? Such and such. He was like, What you trying to go out back? And Philly <laughs> was like, What? He was like, What you trying to go out back? Boy, he swung on that nigga. Chloe swung on that nigga. He was, he he was like, I, I beat the shit out of you. I'm gonna murder you, pussy. I'm gonna fucking murder you, pussy. I love when Philly niggas say pussy, y'all. Yo, love yo, that shit. Back door, yo. dickhead. Yeah. I love that shit, bro. I'm gonna murder you, pussy. Because they hold that pussy. They yeah, hold they that do. shit. I love that yo. shit. For real. Shout out to my dude, Mel. Yo. Yo. Oh, that's, that, that's that's your man that we had met. Yo, yeah. yeah. Shout out to him. That nigga's North nigga, Philly for son, real. Son, son, as soon as I, as soon as niggas in, in the rack, I felt I felt some energy. I'm like, where you from, bro? Like, I mean, someone's a cool nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but yeah, I I I under, excuse me. I'm wake whack. Yeah. Just stop talking. Yeah. Leave the nigga alone, bro. Yeah, it's, alone. it's the same right. shit that you were told as a kid, bro. If it right. don't concern right. you, move the fuck on, bro. Right. And especially it's like. Oh, I gotta. I'm gonna go back to jail if such and such happened. They say the fuck away from the bullshit. Right. It's pretty right. simple, you know, bro. Like, said, yo, if it's inciting violence, don't involve yourself. Yeah. Don't talk about that shit, like my nigga. And you know, with us, like niggas don't agree with Wack 100 at all. Right. But this nigga is right. really right right here. Yeah. Like it's like bro, Every come the fuck on. Hit Bing point point point. Like no, bro, no, facts facts. He right. he tricking you out of your position. You gonna lose Indeed. money and right. and the way you living right, right. now. What you fought to get at this point. Like, you That's fought to be where you at right now, but you about to let this nigga that you know is an informant trick you out of your position. Facts. Then, Hush just sent me this. This nigga on a little baby, uh, on a little baby snippet, thought, thought this line was fucking amazing. And on a little baby <sighs> snippet, he says, and if I ever lack, I'm going out with a chopper, and it'd be another Kobe. What? Wow. wow! What the fuck is wrong with you, wow. yo? What the and fuck is wrong with you? This nigga off Rock Nation tonight. Wow. I'm not trying. To no brunches for you, nigga. What? The complete vibe. Yeah, it's, I just that's fucking some, you out of it. It's some shit right. that's that's off. Hey, let me go over yeah, though. Let me go over, bro. He been asking. I don't think he want rap no more. It seemed like it. Yeah, he can't really come out with nothing. There's nothing for him to talk about. Nigga went to go diss six nine the next morning. There's nothing the for you to morning, talk about. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yo, but the there's Kobe, nothing for you to talk about. The Kobe line is crazy. That nobody was like, "Bro, you tripping?" Oh nah, they they. That's the nigga. You ain't. You might want to uh, hashtag me right now. <laughs> oh <laughs> no, I'm talking about people in the um. Oh, in the at in the, the joint. Yeah, in the studio. Yeah. Like, bro, like, see, that's, and that's how you know the niggas around him ain't really his people. Like, people, right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Like, come on, bro. I'm sorry, my nigga. Hey, Meek, no. Nah, nah. <laughs> nah my nigga. Meek Nobody for nothing, nowhere. Bro, this nigga. And for that me. part to be put in there as the snippet, nobody. Come on, bro. Y'all doing way. Hey, Meek. He said that nigga just wants to be canceled. He wants to be canceled. I'm convinced. You bugging with that shit. Yeah. Wow. Ra Meek. Mm. That's just sad, bro. Like it's just like it, he going out worse than Kanye. Uh, at least Kanye went out. He he had some dignity. Hey, can I ask y'all how come niggas don't have that same energy for Kodak as they have for that nigga Kodak got a Trump ring? Uh, Kodak can shoot you. 
Kodak. See, that's what I don't like about niggas. That's what it is, bro. Hey, that's really hey, what shoot? I don't like about niggas. Hey, he'll shoot you? No, nah, the niggas probably niggas probably uh, uh respect that. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. but 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 not nah, I me. Mean, it's the same. It's the same. Like him and, Tra- him and Kanye, yeah. Him and Kanye yeah. fuck with Trump. Trump heavy, Kodak you know I mean? is Kodak cool. Talking about that nigga is a superhero. But yeah, I think it's just because it's, it's more so just nigga fire shit. Like, yeah, I fuck with Kodak on that hood shit or that street shit or whatever. Kanye is easy to put him in that box. Like, oh, you, you just straight corporate. Because he, he's super rich now. You know what I'm saying? So they, it probably seems un, unattainable or unrelatable. Kodak, you still feel like you could probably reach out to that nigga. You know what I mean? You can see him somewhere or whatever. So subconsciously, you probably still feel relatable. So you're going to latch on to that rather than a person like Kanye. It's just a different tax bracket. I mean, I mean they both different tax brackets, but you know what I mean? I just imagine niggas feel like, oh, yeah, Kodak seems more attainable. And niggas want to, oh, yeah, fuck with that. It's both just dumb, stupid nigga shit. So, but uh, I don't You summed it up right there, dumb, stupid nigga shit. Yo, the, the internet be fucking these niggas' brains up, bro. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> This this shit is crazy, bro. I'm so disgusted, bro. Yeah, that's why my niggas home. be like, "You're not a meek fan, nah, absolutely." Yeah, not, I know. Bro. I've never. Been. I'm not, sir. I've never been. <laughs> no, that used to be though. I ain't gonna act like I wasn't. I've never been a meek fan. Um, yeah, I never been Meek fan. Nah, it's, yeah. you know I listen to music different. I hear this nigga because nigga, niggas like, "Yo, what's this nigga from Philly named Meek Mill? He's super nice." I heard him like, oh, "I'm better than this nigga." It's so a couple mean. songs. A couple songs are catchy. That's about it. I never been like an avid Meek Mill fan. I got like two or three words. Y'all ain't like the, none of the Dream Chasers mixtape. No, bro, it's like three I like songs. a couple songs on there, but yeah. I didn't like I didn't like that Flame Flamers. I think it was called. Yeah, yeah like Flamers three. Yeah, no, it was. I think it's two songs I work out to. That's it. We ain't done yet. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I don't really, I ain't really care for it. Uh, hmm. That Prodigy shirt dropped tomorrow too. Tomorrow, no? yeah. yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get that shit. I I definitely get um skateboard, but that ain't coming out yet. Um Yeah, man. Uh oh, dang, why do we ain't touch on this? Why do we ain't touch on Hove and Nipsey? And um oh, the, oh, soundtrack, the, the soundtrack. The soundtrack. I'm sorry, yeah. we should have did that earlier. Still but the soundtrack the for the um huh? You still good on the camera? Yeah, we good. Um yeah, we good. Probably like another twenty minutes, something like that. Um, good looking. I appreciate that whole episode. Um Director of Photography. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> niggas just building credits to niggas. <laughs> right, right. Um yeah, so how did y'all like the soundtrack? I love it. Okay, yeah, have you heard too. it? I haven't heard all of it. Bro, I actually it's... heard it. Yeah, I fucking love it, especially the one. Um, I think that song "Plead the Four Fifth. Mm. Um, who did that? The Buddy? No, I'm thinking of something else. Um, that's that's JID, ain't it? JID and um Rhapsody. No, 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 no. no that was another joint. It's definitely J.I.D. I, I think I heard that. And Shmino. Shmino and Saba. Shmino. Oh, Saba. Oh, Saba. Yeah, okay. that song. I love that song. Cause of, cause of the sample too. Okay. Um, it's the sample for uh Reason Don't Fall. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, mm. I like that. But um, uh, man, this it EPMD. Yeah. How do you like that? I like that song. Um, and I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, we'll get to Nipsey and Hov in a minute, but uh, um, how uh, how do you feel about Nas keeping Hit Boy as his main producer? Uh, um, I, it works. I was about to say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So you know what I mean. That shit's working for him. Is is working for him? Is is meshing well? Yeah, so they works. got good chemistry. So you know what I mean. Keep that shit rocking. He need that. Nah, absolutely. Um. Yeah. He. Uh. I was. I was very curious of how many songs do you guys think he has recorded with him? Oh, I'm sure they got a decent they, amount. Yeah, they probably got a whole. Yeah, got, yeah, I'm sure they got a decent amount. Um. Also, throughout the album or the soundtrack, you have I think multiple Hit Boy records. How do y'all feel about Hit Boy as an actual lyricist? I love the. Uh, he had a group tape come out HS eighty seven. We the plug. It was pretty good. It was really good, actually. Um, how do y'all feel about him as a lyricist? I'm I'm not gonna lie. I I had never heard of his music, and I'm glad I heard it on this because I like the whole I like the whole album of work. You know, the whole soundtrack, mm-hmm. and I liked his songs. Mm-hmm. So now I'm gonna go back. You know, because definitely worth it. Because because you know, for me, it's it's hard to listen to to new shit. Yeah, if y'all ain't putting me up on it, 
I'm going yeah. to skip right over it. Or I'm not just going to hear it. It's just right. so much out there. But um, I if if that's if, it's if, on there. If this is if this is who he is, mm-hmm. I like I like Hit Boy. Mm, I gotta good. Check him out. Yeah. I gotta check him out. Yeah. Um. So now we're gonna go to the Nipsey and Hov song. Uh, how'd you feel about that? How'd you I feel didn't about hear it? Check. You didn't? I didn't hear it. Okay. Check. Um. I didn't hear it when you check. get a chance, like that, it's it is. Um. What's crazy is the song in itself, minus Hov verse, is eight years old. Wow. The song Ooh. was recorded in 2013. Mm-hmm. Um. And initially had Tito Lopez on there. He was mm. signed to uh, Aftermath at some point, if I'm correct. Um, but uh, Whole Footies verse on. Apparently, um, it was a song that Nitsy recorded and knew that he wanted Hove oh, to wow. be on it. Um, and Hove was just really... It's up there with what's free, his what's free verse. Word. Yeah. Um, Word. Hove at this age, and even Nas, it's like... They don't have nothing to prove outside of guidance. They are yeah. guiding the younger artists of how music is still supposed to feel. Right. Like, have right. fun, right. but with the message. Indeed. See, a lot of the elder rappers didn't know how to get that message across without, Indeed. in turn, somewhat being rude or disrespectful. Yeah, sounding preachy. And, yeah, yeah um, and I think they are doing a very good job of doing that. Um the double and triple entendres, uh, Scorpion Brits, way before Aubrey's double mm-hmm. disc, 40 on my clap, sound like 40 did the mix. Yeah, like, yeah. Right, eh. Bro, when he said, y'all y'all let them break in your capital, put your feet mm. up on your desk, y'all can't say nothing to me. Mm-hmm. I you lost, I lost, you lost the you little lost respect. All, yep. Yeah, he also says, uh, selling weed in the open, bringing niggas home from the feds, mm. which is true. Shout out mm-hmm. to him and, and um, yep. Vegas Jones. Uh, Emory have mm-hmm. the monogram. They really, <laughs> it's like stuff that you would think that years ago they would have got. Right, they would have went to jail for. Um, so you know what? Yeah, dog. Like I said, full circle is a great. Have you movie, seen great soundtrack on title? They have the visual for what it feels like. Yeah. Oh, they did. Yeah, and and it and it I showed, saw that. That's how I saw that. Heard yeah. the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because oh. like, it shows the different. Like uh, uh, producers and, and musicians, how they were adding, adding to it and building. Oh, it. I think I seen that on um on rants ranting rants uh fifteen hundred. Okay, he produced it. Yep, I think I seen that on his page, and it got hove in it on yep. Facetime. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, dog. Yeah, bro. This is. Yeah, we covered everything. Uh, Lauren Hill went diamond recently. Uh, today actually. Um, Rihanna's got oh, a couple. How, how fitting! It's late. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll be here all night. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> What's up, man? No, no, I'm uh, tripping off. No, I'm tripping off lean and shit. Yeah. Uh, any shout outs? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, you know, as like, always, man, you know, check out the Laptop Chronicles. I've been a little slow getting up. Uh, I've had podcasters block. Uh, it happens. Yeah. It happens, yeah. bro. Um, but, you know, I got an episode brewing, man. You know, it's still Black History Month. Make sure you check out, uh, you know, Ebony category. Um, shout out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the Ebony category. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yo, shout out to everybody that fuck with me. Man, fuck with us, fuck with the pod squad. You know what I'm saying? Much love. Thank you for, for all the support. Um Yeah, uh, go ahead, Noah. Plug man. your shit. Yeah, man. Um, first and foremost, shout out to the pod family, you know what I mean? Always dope doing this shit with y'all. Um, every last one of y'all, you know, y'all the fucking bros. Um fucking shout out to everybody who's been supporting, man. Just uh last week, shout out to Sam over at Dear Tribe, you know what I mean? Everybody over there at the tribe, shout out to y'all. Um, that was great, Evan. Man, yeah. thank y'all. Yeah, it was. Thank y'all. Um, shouts to uh, Speedy on the beat. Um, everybody over there at Insomniac Magazine. Um, Max over there at Hip Hop Heads. Uh, shit, and everybody has been supporting my bro Jam Block. You know what I mean? My man Brian. You know what I mean? Um, everybody in Bogota. Uh, my bro Alex over there in Italy. Shouts to you. And everybody's just been tapping in with the music, man. Keep doing it, man. Vinyl's coming soon. Uh, videos coming soon. Merch coming soon. You know what I mean, keep tapping in. 
Um, Hus. Uh, yeah. Shout out to y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, man. Keep doing y'all thing as usual. Uh, shout out to Dirty Scale, my niggas. Yeah, man. Uh, coming to conclusions, my homie Dre and shit. And I can't remember these niggas' names, but. <laughs> it's these two twin uh, brothers. They about to drop an album. I heard they shit. The sound kind of sad, and I think I'm gonna like it. But when next time I'm gonna let y'all niggas know what it is. All right. Um, I recently <laughs> got the uh, J Electronica um vinyl. Um, it's really dope. Ooh. Uh, um, really dope. Uh, white vinyl. Well, they take it out. Pause, but it's it's. <laughs> So, yeah, but uh, yeah, it's dope. Uh, shout out to uh, Ariel Ariel Robinson. Um, this is a black hair care and color coloring book. Really dope. Uh, found her on IG. Uh, no, I found her on Twitter. Um, really dope, man. Uh, shout out to black women, bro. Um, yep. it's really dope. Um, shout out to four twenty wrap up. Uh, shout out to those guys. Shout out to Coach Class Podcast. Um, shout out to um, shout out to Big Sis Stacy. Um, Stacy, you know the fucking vibes. Uh, shout out to Broso. <laughs> shout out to my man Kyrie. Uh, make sure you go get his book. Uh, the Pathway to Progression. Um, uh, Jabroso's Juice. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Shout out to uh Mel. Ladies, go check out the Glam Stash on IG. Um, who else? Who else should we plug in? Um, uh, uh, Leopard Lover, my cousin has a boutique line now. Um, shout out to Chasing, Chasing Bartenders. Uh, other cousin, shout out to Jazz Jossie. Uh, yeah, yo, just shout out to everybody, man. You know the fucking vibes, Baltimore County forever. <laughs>